it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be working with a Queen & Co kit. This is my first time working with one of theirs and I have to say I really love it. I will definitely be getting some more. I love these shakers and the fact that they come with everything ready to go and the only thing you have to do is cut out your paper to cover the shakers is fantastic. Um, so this is their Happy Holidays kit and I'm giving you a quick look at what is included here. So there you see all of the dies and it has eight different shapes and then for each shape that turns into a shaker you've got three uh, foam pieces that are included. And these are actually cut out just like the dies would cut out so you'll have the outside border to create a shaker but then you can also keep the inside and you could use that to pop up just a single layer of like a cutout candy cane or a gingerbread man or you could just save that in your stash and go ahead and use it as backing on uh, something else you want to pop up on another card. There I'm giving you a quick look at the different color shakers that were included and those are the acetate pieces that are going to cover the top of the foam pieces. Uh, here's a look at the sentiment stamps. I was kind of not sure if I was going to grab this kit and then I looked at the stamps and I was like, yes, I'm definitely getting this. I love that it has some different type of Christmas sentiments and I really love the mix of the block lettering with the script. So lastly, I will give you a quick look at the different pattern papers that were included. And this was plenty of paper to make way more than 10 cards. I did end up only making uh, eight cards total with this kit. I did one for each type of shaker, um, but you have enough to make so many different. Uh, there's eight different shakers, so three of each would be, you could make 24 different shakers with this. And I think these would also be really cute to put together as some ornaments that you could include on the front of a card and then the recipient could keep the ornament uh, from year to year. So for card number one here, I've decided to create Santa's sleigh and I've trimmed out using the die from that green pattern paper. Here I've grabbed the foam insert and I'm gonna place this down on top of the pattern paper. This is sticky on both sides. So you wanna make sure that you're placing down the correct side <laughs> because the dies are stitched. So you wanna be able to have that stitching facing the right direction. So the best way I found to do this was to actually go ahead and cut out the covering pattern paper first and that way I knew which direction to place down the foam piece. So I've added that down on this pattern paper and I'm going to add in some of the sprinkles that came in the kit. I'll peel away the backing and then there's also that matching uh, acetate covering piece. So I'm going to place that down here. And then I'll grab my art glitter glue, place a little bit around the frame that I had cut out, and I'll place that down on top of the phone piece. Next, I'm gonna just go ahead and trim that out. And this was actually really quick, uh, much quicker than I thought it would be. What I ended up doing was angling my scissors. So I didn't have to be super detailed. I was actually cutting just a tiny bit of the foam and that way I knew I wasn't gonna have any pattern paper uh, hanging off the sides. So I had trimmed down this star pattern paper to four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna place that here on top of my card base. And I believe this is made from MFT's Poppy, but I will list all of the cardstocks for you in my blog post. I loved this star pattern paper. It was my favorite. I'm so happy I got four pages of it <laughs> because I'm definitely going to save it to use for other things. I did go ahead and add in some of my own gold glitter paper and I used that to cut out the bottom portion of the sleigh. I'm going to glue both of these pieces down here on the front of the card base. And then I wanted to create a sentiment strip for the front, so I'm going to use that sentiment Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. I'm stamping that out on some scrap Nina cardstock, 
using my uh, Lawn Fawn Lobster ink. I went ahead and trimmed that down and then I'll lay this on my card front here just to measure that out and I'm going to create a banner along one edge of that. I then at this point decided I wanted a little strip of that gold to go underneath the sentiment as well. So I just trimmed off a little piece there. And now I will go ahead and cut my banner. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure this uh, thin little gold piece and just cut that at an angle also uh, to make sure it will match that bottom edge there. And then finally I'll go ahead and place both of those down uh, using my art glitter glue. For the inside, I'm working on a Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter, and I'm gonna stamp out the sentiment, sending Christmas wishes. I grabbed an extra piece of that star pattern paper, and I'm gonna place that along the bottom edge. And I'll add some art glitter glue to the back of that and go ahead and place it on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number one. For card number two, I've gone ahead and cut out a candy cane and mistletoe piece from two solid card stocks and then two of the pattern papers included in the kit. And I am going to go ahead and stamp directly on the front of a card base. This is made from Nina Solar White. And I went with that sentiment, candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses. I love that. I've never seen that anywhere before. I decided this time to try something different and it worked out really well. Rather than placing the um, foam down on the pattern paper, I thought I would just cut it out and place them inside the cutouts so I didn't have to do so much fussy cutting. And this worked really well. I ended up doing it both ways depending on what I was making, but um, either way worked great. So here I'm going to place these down inside of their outlines. And then I'll peel away the outside pieces and I'm going to place down uh, the foam pieces where the outlines were. I'll fill those up then with a mix of the green sprinkles and I also added in some of the clear white and then I did the same uh, with the candy cane using the red as well as some of the clear white crystals. And these smaller, <laughs> these ones with the smaller sections were a little bit more difficult to fill but the nice thing is that the sprinkles are sort of a larger size so they were fairly easy to pick up and place back inside there. Next I'm grabbing the matching acetate pieces and I'll peel away the backing and place both of those down. And then again I'll add art glitter glue to the outlines and place those on top. Thank you. 
Off to the side there, you'll see I've used that same matching red cardstock to cut out the pieces to create a bow. So I'm just going to use my pokey tool there to help round uh, the tie of my bow. And then I'll use some glue dots to stick that together. I'll go ahead then and place that down with the glue dot at the top of my mistletoe and then I will add just a little bit of glue behind the tails of the bow uh, just to make sure that's down nice and secure. I trimmed out some of these berries just using a plain white carved stock and I'll go ahead and place those down uh, with my art glitter glue. For the inside, I stamped out the sentiment sending you sweet season's greetings. And then I've grabbed this peppermint stripe. It's the same pattern I used for the background of the candy cane. And I've cut off three uh, strips in varying sizes. I'm gonna use my art glitter glue and I'll place those along the bottom. I trimmed off that excess, added some glue to the back, and I'll go ahead and place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number two. For card number three, I've gone ahead and trimmed out a uh, piece of this red polka dot pattern paper. And that measures four by five and a quarter. And I've also used the sock die cut to trim those out in three different pattern papers. Here I've again laid these on top of my background and I'm gonna use those outlines to make sure they get the centers uh, put down uh, where they belong. Again, I've then taken away those outlines and I've placed down the foam outline going to fill these up with some of the sprinkles. And then I'll also peel away the backing and place down the acetate pieces. And then I'll go ahead and glue down the uh, pattern paper outlines. For the sentiment, I'm using a piece of cardstock to match my card base, and I'm stamping out the sentiment. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. And the black that I'm using on all of these is my Versamark Onyx Black Ink. I went ahead and trimmed that down and I'm going to place that in the center underneath those stockings there. And I think I missed the portion in the uh, editing, but I did also add the sort of fuzzy white toppers to the socks as well. I just glued those down with my art glitter glue. Again on a Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter, I stamped out the, sen the sentiment sending Christmas blessings and I've added a piece of that star pattern paper along the bottom. 
here I'll go ahead and glue that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number three. For card number four, I have trimmed out the gingerbread man using a brown uh, plain cardstock. And here I'm just adding all of the little decorative bits on him. I grabbed a scrap piece of Nina cardstock and I'm going to stamp at the top of that sending you Sweet Seasons greetings and I used Lawn Fawn's Walnut ink for this. I've trimmed that panel down a little bit there and I've grabbed some trim that I picked up at Target this year. This was from the one spot, just a pretty red felt scallop. I'll add some score tape to the top of that and then I'm going to place that along the bottom of that Nina panel. I trimmed off that excess uh, and there you'll see I have cut out the outline of the gingerbread man using the it's sort of a maroonish brown a checked pattern that was one of the pattern papers so I'm gonna use that for my outline and again I'm just using that to make sure that I get my center in there properly I'm gonna stick down the foam outline here I'll go ahead and fill that up with some of the sprinkles. Place down the acetate sheet. And then glue down my pattern paper outline. Here I'm going to glue down a um, piece of this green check pattern paper. This is trimmed to four by five and a quarter. And then I'd added some score tape behind that panel. I wanted to make sure that was down nice and tight, especially since I had a little bit of unevenness with the uh, felt scallop at the bottom. So I'm just going to center that on the front of the card base. And then for the inside, again, on a Nina panel, I stamped out the sentiment, oh, what fun, again, using that Lawn Fawn Walnut ink. And I'm adding a trim at the bottom of that green check pattern paper. I'll add some glue to the back of that and place it on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number four. Here are a few close-ups of the finished cards. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.